Hey my friends, in this video I'm gonna show you how to get started fast using the Eros Loop Studio. If you're like me, you want to plug and play, you don't want to have to read dozens of pages of manuals to use a pedal. So I'm gonna try to do that in about five to eight minutes in a quick demo. Just before getting started, I love the pedal so much that I decided to partner with Singular Sound and they provided my audience with a coupon code. So if you click on my affiliate link, the first link in the description box below, and you enter code Antoine10 at checkout, you can get 10% off on your order of the Eros Loop Studio. So thank you so much for uh, to Singular Sound for that opportunity. So when you power the pedal on with the little switch on the side right here, this is what you see, this is the main menu. You can navigate with the little wheel and use the foot switches or this is also a touch screen. So I highly recommend to click on the Wi-Fi icon and then add your Wi-Fi code so that you can click on updates and update via Wi-Fi to the latest firmware, the 5.0 version, because if you have the 5.0 version, you're gonna see exactly what I see on screen right now out of the box uh, because I resetted all the settings to default for this demo. So let's click right here to go back to the main menu. And the quickest way is to click on that foot switch, which is gonna start a new song already. So all the switches are doing different things uh, depending where you are, and they're always clearly labeled uh, just on top of each switch. So I'm gonna click on this one, new song, and then I'm just gonna change one thing. So I'm gonna click on the pencil, right here to change the settings of the song. So I'm gonna keep everything the same by default. I'm gonna use the two by two, so I get two tracks and two song parts. I'm gonna uh, leave that at start and length because the first loop is gonna tell what the length of the other ones can be. I'm just gonna uh, change the song grid mode to freeform. Uh, we're not gonna use the quantization for now because I just wanna plug and play and I might not know what is the tempo of my idea right now. So freeform is not gonna quantize, it's not gonna follow any BPM or anything. So that's the kind of behavior that you would expect from uh, any looper when you start using the looper. So I'm gonna click on save to make sure it's applied. And like I said, after that, it's really, really intuitive. You have what the knobs are doing just in front of it. So you can record on the first track or the second track uh, just uh, right here with the little switches. So I'm gonna play a little thing like. And record. Right, and just, it was just written play, so I can do that just now. If I want to record uh, the second track right here, I can click on record, and it's triggered to record. And then I can click on play, and that's gonna play, right? So this one is double the length of the first one. Right, that works. You can play multiples of the length. Then I can overdub on any of them. You see the colors are really clear. It's always red to record, green to play, and yellow to overdub. So let's say I can overdub on the first one. And then play to go out of overdub mode. Pretty straightforward. I can click on next part and that's gonna trigger the second part to play after that. Right, so now I have a second part to my song. If I want to go to the next part again, I can click on the first one. It's gonna trigger the first one to reappear. 
Uh, then what else? If you want to undo an overdub that you've made, you can press and hold. So now you see the little di -di 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 disappeared, right? And if I press and hold again, it's to redo. I can also do two quick taps to mute that track. And now it's triggered to be muted. And then if I want to unmute, I can press just once, right? You can change in the settings the behavior of the mute function, right? So uh, you could mute right away at the end of the bar or at the end of the whole loop, right? I could do that for the second one too. So now it's triggered to be muted at the end of the entire loop, as you see. Right, and I can click to unmute uh, and it's gonna reappear at the end of the whole loop. Then you can use the little scroll right here, it's gonna be the overall volume. The master volume knob, right? So you can really fine tune the volume of the master right here. If you want to fine tune the volume of each individual track, you can use the left button right here and you can press and hold. Then you have many, many functions right here. The first one is the mixer. So I'm gonna click to go to the mixer. And, th and then I can use the middle button to select which one I want and then I can fine-tune the volume individually, right? I could select the second loop and use the, the roll like this and then I could mute this one or unmute. So when you're in the mixer, it seems that it's doing it instantly, right? I can exit. And then once again, you had many other functions. So if I press and hold, and for example, I want to reverse a track, let's say the top track, because it's written top track, I can do it here. Once again, it's triggered to reverse, like it, you can see. <laughs> Pretty psychedelic. So if I want to do it again, I can click on reverse again and it's unreversing. Then if I uh, click once on the play stop all button, it's going to stop at the end of the cycle. So now it stopped at the end of the cycle and then if I click again, it's uh, starting again. If I want to end instantly, I can do two quick taps on the play stop all. So now I stop instantly, I don't have to wait at the end right here. So I think it covers pretty much all the basic functions right here, how to um, stop and play and record and overdub, undo, redo, use some of the, the functions right here. I think it's pretty intuitive because everything is always written right here at the bottom of the screen. And of course, you can customize anything you want in the settings on the main menu. Do you want to mute right away? Do you want to change the, the next part right away or at the end of the bar, at the end of the cycle? Do you want a click track or to quantize? Do you, so many functions. But I think that when you first purchase a, a, a looper, that's what you expect to have just to play right away and make your tracks and overdub and stuff like this. So those are the basic functions. Uh, I'm gonna make so many more demos in the future on my channel, on the Eros Loop Studio. It's such a wonderful pedal with so many functions and I need more time to make more songs and explore the pedal more before I make a full-fledged demo of the pedal. So once again, if you're interested and you want to get the pedal, you can click on my affiliate link below and enter code Antoine10 at checkout to get 10% off on the Eros Loop Studio. Full disclosure, it is an affiliate link, so I also get 10% 
uh, as part of the affiliate link. So everyone is happy and it's a great opportunity. So it's the first link below. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Many demos are coming and see you on the next video. Until next time, au revoir.